Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Akakadash, Barak Thumb, to the uh, elders for Akim Akwaf, and I say Shalom. This is a uh, sit down lesson of this uh, recent news article, especially, you know, the uh, increase and rise in tensions between Iran and uh, Israel have been heating up. And this is a uh, news article from the Jerusalem Post as of uh, August the 11th, 2024, and last updated. August the 11th, 2024, and it reads, it says, Israeli intel believes Iran will attack directly within days. It says this represents a swift from recent assessments, which suggests that international pressure was restraining Iran from launching a direct attack against Israel. Iran might carry out the attack on Israel in the coming days, potentially even before the upcoming Thursday summit on the hostage deal negotiations according to the two sources familiar with the uh, matter. It says the represent this represents a swift from recent assessments which suggests, suggests that international pressure was restraining Iran from launching a direct attack against Israel. It says uh, the most recent evacuation by the Israeli intelligence community formed within the past 24 hours, indicating that Iran has decided directly target Israel any retaliation from the uh, assassination of uh, Hamas political railroad chief as Amali Hanai. And it says uh, sources noted that this makes a significant change from the recent assessments which suggested that the international pressures was preventing Iran from executing a direct strike against uh, Israel. Internal debate in Iran a source uh, acknowledge I mean a source knowledge of the situation revealing that in, re in recent days there have been internal debate in Iran between the Iran Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps and new Iranian president and his advisors. The debate centers on the natural timing of the response of Hanaya's assassination. The Revolutionary Guards have been advocating for more several and widespread response that the April 13th attack while the president and his advisors believe that such a harsh response shall be avoided. And it says um, another source familiar with the situation, saying that the situation remains fluid with the inter internal debate in Iran ongoing, which means that Iran decision making could still change. It says uh, the IDS spokesperson, Daniel Hagar. Hagari posted on uh, X, there is no change in the home front. Commander the directors follow the reports of a upcoming Iranian attack saying that they will form the public if any changes are necessary that the IDF is monitoring enemy forces through the Middle East with a emphasis on Iran and Hezbollah. Hello. Yeah. Yes, he uh, made it back. Yeah. Ah, yeah, man. And this is uh, the prophet Joel, chapter 3, verse 9. It says, uh, Proclaim ye this amongst the Gentiles, prepare war, wake up the mighty man, let all the men of war draw near, let them come up. Joel 3, and verse 10. Beat your plowshares and the swords and the plenty hooks and the spears, and let the weak say I'm strong. So with that, hopefully this uh, sit down lesson was uh, edifying of this recent news article. As I mentioned uh, before, you know, the tensions are heating up between Iran versus Israel, especially between the borders of uh, Lebanon and Israel. 
So we're going to see within the next couple of days once again if Iran is going to make that direct attack towards uh, Israel, you know, especially from the uh, the high ranking uh, leaders from uh, Hamas and uh, from Hezbollah, which they was uh, pro Iranian groups. Got yeah, killed in those uh, airstrikes by uh, the Israeli Defense Force over there in Lebanon and over in Iran as well, too. So we're going to see how the situation plays out between Iran and Israel as the tensions are heating up. As it says again, Israeli intel believes Iran will attack directly within days. So with that, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Akakadash, and the Heavenly Father, true name is Yahweh. His only begotten son, Bahashem, in the name of Hamashiach, Yahweh uh, Those are their true names in the ancient Paleo Hebrew, the last one, Christ, the whole time. Until next time, I will say Shalom.